peace and freedom and grace be with you. My name is John Clifton of the Libertarian Party of New York. I'd like to welcome you to a wonderful episode of Hard Fire, one in which we discuss the one of the greatest organizations, I think, in the United States today uh, in terms of going full hog toward defending and restoring the Constitution in terms of its, the, the protection of uh, individual liberties and, and basic rule of law in the United States. You may have heard recently that uh, we're losing that battle to retain rule of law in the United States, for everything from you name it. You know, <laughs> I don't even want to go into the whole list of things that uh, now almost daily come to our attention in terms of disposing of uh, what we thought were fundamental liberties, fundamental civil liberties, fundamental uh, rights of due process, and uh, other basic constitutional principles. We have as a guest today a representative of that of the organization We the People uh, uh, Foundation and We the People Congress, uh, Vanessa uh, Astrup, mm -hmm. and she's going to explain to us the different um, principles and missions uh, that are being engaged with uh, by We the People uh, Foundation. Um, Vanessa, would you like to start? Sure. Um, we the People is being involved right now in a bunch of great things that are going to be going on for this year. Uh, I've been working with Bob Schultz in helping create some of the missions and things that we're going to be working on. Mm -hmm. um, as you were saying about our, our freedoms are kind of being slowly taken away, and, and mm -hmm. just recently the administration um, has been shown to be using um, spying on yes. on American citizens, mm -hmm. you know, without court orders or without warrants and things of that nature. And so there's a, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things going on outside the constitutional boundaries mm -hmm. at a state, local, and mm -hmm. federal level. Um, so what we the people is trying to do is they're trying to bring back mm -hmm. some of that, so yeah. that um, we can really get back to what this country what what made us great. Right. Like it's, I, I stopped myself when I started to go into the list because I started I realized if I started to go into the things that we're losing. Uh, it would you never have a chance to speak. <laughs> uh, I yeah, mean, what happened true. to probable cause? Every day is a headline. It, well, you wonder what happened to due process. What happened to, uh, you know, right of assembly and right of pr uh, privacy, and and whatever happened uh, to uh, in the case of Schultz's organization in, in its battles to the right of petition, uh, which is a fundamental um, way. The people who are supposed to be the fundamental governors of of the constitutional republic that we have, not a democracy, constitutional republic. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, you know, find a way to, uh, well, I've lost track of my, uh, my sentence. So, <laughs> <laughs> as I said, Sorry. I was going to lose, lose control of myself here. But let's go through um, just what We the People Foundation does and what sure. Schultz has done over the last several years to uh, try to restore constitutional liberty and, and citizen vigilance regarding that. Uh, to the United States. Yes, um, We the People organization has been around for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and the organization consists of two separate entities. One of them is We the People Foundation for mm -hmm. Constitutional Education. And what they do is they do public uh, education, civic education on your constitutional rights. Mm -hmm. um, and then with that information, the, the Congress, which is the other organization, which is, um, which can, it's, I think it's a 501c three or four and so it's one mm -hmm. of those that it's allowed to engage in political things of that okay. nature so um, the Congress will take that information that the foundation is mm -hmm. is gathering um, and use their resources to kind of get the people together and push them along to really bring about um, significant change right. so so here I guess I am as a representative we the people foundation um, and we kind of consider lawsuits which is one thing I'm sure we're going to discuss mm -hmm as well um, as kind of educational research. Um, mm -hmm. That's our way of, of okay. finding out, you know, what are our limitations and then what is it that the government's doing and how do we get the information out to the people? Well, it can go either way. Uh, you can call it, you know, research. Um, and, and some of us in the, on the political or activist side sometimes think we can, as I've speculated, that we can do uh, non-electoral politics, whereas you can accomplish something political in a courtroom uh, if you want to go that route. Mm -hmm. Some groups always just sue to pants off this corporation or that organization in order to get what they want. Um, but it can be done in a constructive way, you know, for uh, purposes like restoring constitutional liberty uh, in the United States. Right. Um, we the People has become um, very uh, most well known in the last few years because of its vigilance in discussing um, what we may call administrative fraud in uh, the IRS's uh, 
use or misuse or misapplication of the tax laws. Right. Uh, and could you explain what we the people have been trying to do on that issue? Yes. Um, there's, there's a lot of things going on with that issue. Uh, one of them is Bob Schultz himself um, has sent a letter to the IRS saying that mm -hmm. he is not liable to pay an income tax and that uh, the IRS had sent him a summons and from that summons IRS had taken the uh, Bob Schultz has taken the IRS to court to say that a summons is not um, is, if it's not backed by a warrant mm -hmm. or a federal court's decision then it is it is not mandatory and therefore mm -hmm. things are just voluntary I mean the issue mm -hmm. is just Unbelievable, and and I guess what I want to say on this is, don't take my word for it, mm -hmm. and don't take we the people's word for it. Right. Um, find out for yourself. You know, uh, just briefly, I want to say, you know, my father found out that way was mm -hmm. calling the IRS and saying, "Show me my liability. Show me where I am yeah. as an individual, not a corporation, to mm -hmm. be liable for an income tax. Which code is it? You know, mm -hmm. show me my liability, and I'll pay." And that's really what it came down to, and right. he couldn't get an answer. Um, and that is basically the essence of what we the people has mm -hmm. found um, part of the right to petition lawsuit right. is um, the taxing clause of the Constitution yep. and so Bob Schultz and I mean they, they've marched on Washington they've mm -hmm. they've uh, approached IRS agents um, they've listed 500 questions to IRS agents and said if you can answer mm -hmm. these questions then we need to know where our liability stands. You know, where yeah. are we liable to pay an income tax? And don't take my word for it. Call them yeah. up yourself and ask. So, yeah, I, I have to bring in my own personal story here because some people in the, in the party know. Uh, I've disclosed it in our newsletter that I've had my similar, uh, you know, run-in with IRS on this issue. I have, like many thousands of others, including many members of the party, have signed the. Uh, uh, signed on to the right to petition mm -hmm. uh, suit um, as as one of the injured class or, or, or class that's part of that suit. Right. Uh, and in conjunction with that, I have with al also you know, withheld uh, you know, taxes until I get an answer on these questions. Mm -hmm. I am of the belief that I do not have a tax liability, and I asked the IRS also to tell me where, where, where my liability was. Right. Uh, so I haven't filed a 1040 in years, haven't paid a dime, haven't supported with my money uh, the destruction of innocent civilians in Iraq and uh, mm -hmm. and other uh, disasters of the, the propagated by the U.S. government, uh, and I've asked them to answer questions in affidavit form when I've submitted it to them. I've uh, this year uh, did, went through a notary process where I asked the notary to ask the IRS to answer the questions that they wouldn't answer me directly, uh, and IRS wouldn't even answer a notary. <laughs> when the, uh, when it, the questions were filed by the notary. Right. So uh, this is a very essential issue here because it shows uh, that they don't want to answer a question that uh, will prove, I guess, by their answer definitively that they have been misapplying the tax laws right. by enforcing them uh, and, and giving people the misimpression that they have a liability when it isn't there. But, right. But not going into all the technical stuff about that. Right. Uh, and, and what does that mean? Yeah. You know, it's like, we talk about it because we both know what it means. Yeah. You know, but like a lot of people when they hear this for the first time, mm -hmm. their first their first impression is just like, no, get out of here. Yeah. And you're like, no, you know, because I remember when my family first found mm -hmm. out, you know, my grandfather, my, my uncle, my father, you know, when they first found out, they were like, get out of here. It's mm -hmm. not possible. And then the more they found out, you know, they fell down the rabbit hole and they just kept doing mm -hmm. their research and they found out for themselves. And then sure enough, yeah. you know, the IRS is basically just like an uh, internal terrorist group, which, you know, I don't, and I don't say that lightly either, because mm -hmm. when I know, I know when I said that just now, people got all clenched up inside, <laughs> you know, they're inside, they're like, oh God, don't say yeah. that. And that's exactly, you know, what they've created in people. And so when you say you're not liable for a tax, um, people automatically say, oh no, you know, I don't even want to get into that because mm -hmm. it leads to the IRS like hunting them down and doing, you know, it, I mean, that is, it's a class issue. Some people don't want to accept certain ideas or even research certain ideas because they don't want to be one of those people, you know, who do certain things yeah. to get the truth at regardless of personal costs to themselves. Because right. um, this can involve personal costs. Uh, and it does. Know, uh, and um, again, without going all the way into that issue, which we, right. I think has already been discussed in some other shows on Hardfire, right. uh, one of the specific things that go into making a person liable for, you know, something is you know, whether there's an actual law right. that requires well, them. And is, is there 
um, is there a corresponding um, regulation that empowers the regulating or enforcement body to enforce you know, the uh, uh, adherence to the law? Right. And I've asked IRS in my particular affidavits to specify what those laws and implementing regulations are right. that give the IRS their authority to assess and enforce the taxes. And they flat out refused to answer. Yeah. And, and most other people, everybody else who's asked them for this to have, you know, right. have gotten to death answer. Uh, in 2001, Bob Schultz began a hunger fast on July 4th. Mm -hmm. um, and he had sent letters to all the congressmen, senators, president, IRS agents, everybody. And mm -hmm. what he said was, I will starve until you tell me where my liability lies. Mm -hmm. um, where is it that I'm liable? I mean, he was asking all these questions to the government beforehand and mm -hmm. never got any answer. Yeah. And so he was like, what do we have to do around here to get some answers? So I guess mm -hmm. what it comes down to when you're discussing, you know, the, there's no liability for mm -hmm. us as individuals to be yeah. liable for an income tax, and yet people are thrown in jail, their properties are mm -hmm. levied, you know, their property is taken from them. Um, mm -hmm. All of these things happen to you because of this. And so yeah. we have to ask ourselves, what does this all mean? Yeah. Before, before you feed your family or clothe them or put a roof over their head, you are paying money to the government so mm -hmm. that the, the entity that provides or the entity that creates nothing is taking mm -hmm. what you created and, and taking yep. it from you before you get a chance to do anything with it, which is not what the, the forefathers intended when they wrote the Constitution, I mean, despite the fact that mm -hmm. it's not a legal way that they're collecting the taxes anyway. Right, and the, the key to the uh, understanding w the, the suit that the Schultz uh, got a decision for uh, in his favor on was getting the court to reassert that due process matters and it comes before an administrative freight train you know, that this bureaucracy and other bureaucracies put in front of people. Uh, there's a lot of, of administrative um, uh, you know, procedure put into place for the sole purpose of creating a presumption that a person is supposed to do this, or supposed right. to do that, when there's actually no law that compels them or, or applies specifically to them that to so make them do that. But the impression is created because of the administrative process and it creates you know, uh, the impression that you have to divulge information mm -hmm. uh, to people uh, when they don't even have authority to get that from you. Exactly, and that's a big thing that they're doing. Um, and I think all of this ties into, you know, the right to petition lawsuit because, mm -hmm. you know, after the hunger fast, um, I think it was a congressman from Georgia had said that, you know, someone was going to meet with Bob and let mm -hmm. him know, <coughs> excuse yeah. me, um, let him, you know, and, and talk to him in front of an audience. You know, they were actually going to have C-SPAN there and they had their own cameras there and it was going to be a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Um, but then September 11th happened, yeah. and they never got a chance to to get around to getting any answers. Right. You know, so since then they just started to do the the lawsuit. Yeah, thing. I think that was a, a, a lost moment because it would have been wonderful to have all this information on in the congressional record, of course. based on uh, it being part of the uh, the transcript of a congressional hearing where the statements, affidavits, sworn st testimony, um, to the effect of all this information that that we the people and similar um, tax honesty researchers mm -hmm. uh, could, could have been divulged on the record and we could have gotten on the record the answers or non-answers of uh, right. government officials to those uh, statements. Um, but um, I uh, want to go into the rest of the uh, right to petition concepts and the other missions of the uh, We the People after a public service announcement. Uh, the Libertarian Party of New York uh, is very active in producing uh, riveting television like Hard Fire. Uh, our members are very uh, active in activism, going out uh, in the field and, and writing letters to the editor, getting the word out about liberty through uh, a number of different you know, protests through and, and other forms of uh, political action. Of course, we run candidates, uh, and that's another way of getting uh, the word out about liberty. I would like you to take a look at what the Libertarian Party offers to people by going to um, sites in New York that represent the activity of the party. The Manhattan Libertarian Party, uh, manhattanlp.org, uh, will give you a lot of information about what our largest organization and chapter is doing in the Big Apple to promote liberty. You can also go to uh, the Queens chapter, uh, which uh, meets in Astoria each month. Uh, and their website is lpqc.org to get information about libertarian activity in Queens. And for the state, the, the entire um, Big Apple, 
uh, I would recommend you go to ny.lp.org to get all the latest updates about um, legal, political, and other intellectual activity being conducted to bring back liberty to New York. We hope that you will do this and help us bring peace and freedom to all the citizens of this great state. Now, I would like to mention to you that, uh, going back to uh, Vanessa Astrup of uh, We the People, that the tax issue is one part of We the People's uh, goals and, and, and agenda. Uh, that it itself, the right to petition suit itself, had four different uh, major elements. The tax issue was one of them. Right. Um, the <coughs> illegal, unconstitutionally declared Iraq war was another. Right. Um, the issue of the shaky, unconstitutional nature of the Federal Reserve mm -hmm. was still another. Policy, yeah. And the Patriot Act. Mm -hmm. um, Privacy and, and due process. Was, was a fourth. Right. And um, mm -hmm. that was all bundled into, or people could choose which one they wanted to um, to declare uh, right. it being part of uh, the, the, the suit over. Um, but those are all four, all four of those aspects mm -hmm. are being pushed actively by We the People. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I, to get a little bit in, more into that, mm -hmm. um, the right to petition is a much bigger deal than we understand it to be. And mm -hmm. I never really heard of it before We the People. It's pretty groundbreaking yeah. um, because historically it has never been ruled on before. Mm -hmm. um, and that not only that, um, is that it is considered by uh, lawyers and professors and people who are versed in the Constitution as the capstone right. So under mm -hmm. your First Amendment right, you have the right to petition your government for a redress of grievance. Now, now mm -hmm. what does that mean? You know, um, some people would argue that that gives you the right to stand mm -hmm. out in front of Washington with your posters, you know, and parade mm -hmm. around um, and let <clears throat> the government know that way how you feel about certain things. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I, you, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Yeah. And I'm for it and I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. um, but however, that is not what the forefathers intended because what the right to petition is supposed mm -hmm. to allow you mm -hmm. is the chance to approach your government with questions and get answers. Yeah. Now, what the judge has said so far, the first, um, first level federal judge in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. um, Judge Sullivan, he has said that the government uh, doesn't have to listen or respond to the people's grievances. Now, that's a direct quote of what he said. <laughs> And that's a big deal because what does that mean? Yeah. Um, without without a proper response, you mm -hmm. know, because they can say, "Sure, we've we heard you," and not mm -hmm. do anything about it. Right. But a right that is not enforceable is not a right, and that's yeah. that's the big thing here. Mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of organizations out there. There's the peace groups. There's the mm -hmm. illegal, illegal immigration groups. There's the Patriot Act groups. There's war protesters. I mean, there's all different types of groups out here, even in parties, libertarian, constitutional. Mm -hmm. And we all are focused on certain issues. And yeah. what we have found with the right to petition, which is, to me, amazing. When I first found out, I was like, I've got to be a part of this because right. this is just, it's historical and it's, it mm -hmm. needs to be done. It's pertinent. Um, mm -hmm. The right to petition gives you the right to, answer, to ask your government questions mm -hmm. and to respectfully get adequate, an adequate response from them, yeah. which, which is accountability on a level that we do not have right now mm -hmm. and without that right yeah. we will be w our republic i mean without that right we are no longer a republic we are sliding into a democracy mm -hmm. we're just majority rules yeah. and and the only way you can have a voice is at the voting box and that's that's not right. how it's supposed to be and that that is important to underscore it's a fundamental way in which the popular sovereignty is retained by the people i mean right. it's how you it's some folks have said it's a tr it's how you transfer from Declaration of Independence, which in which the rights are fundamentally the people and the and the authority to govern fundamentally comes from the people okay. to going to something in the Constitution that practically provides for how yes. um, the people can exercise that fundamental authority. Uh, and if you don't, they can't even exercise that fundamental authority. Then you know, we really have departed from uh, republic and um, and popular sovereignty. Right. Um, I'm using some of the f key phrases that we the people you know, Yeah, that's it. There. I was just going to say, I'm like, that is extremely well put. I mean, that is, that mm -hmm. is, that's in essence what it is. Um, you know, what makes this country so amazing mm -hmm. and so wonderful is that our rights are creator given. They're creator mm -hmm. endowed. You know, that's what it says in the Constitution. Our yeah. rights come from a creator, not from the state, which means that the state cannot take away something mm -hmm. that they didn't give you in the first place. If you're yeah. born with certain rights, the state is not supposed to be able to take them away from you but the way things are going now mm -hmm. um, I mean with the whole eminent domain case um, right. with the Kilo case 
you know, that came as a big surprise to a lot of people because mm -hmm. no one knew about it before it came to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And so what we, the people, is trying to do now is get people to understand what the right to petition mm -hmm. is before it gets to the Supreme Court, and then all of a sudden, boom, it just happens, and you're like, right. what just happened? You know, yeah. so um, the it, it's important now that the information gets out. So one of the big mm -hmm. things that we, the people, is going to be doing is, is letting people know, you know, and educating mm -hmm. about the right to petition, you know, what that really mm -hmm. means. And judges seem to do different things behind closed doors mm -hmm. than when they're being watched. Like if someone, like mm -hmm. we were saying, we need judges mm -hmm. um, that are going to do the right thing constitutionally, yeah. and without right. people watching them, which is, you know, the government was created to be, the the government was created by the people. The people come, it's the creator, the mm -hmm. people, and then the government. You know, yeah. we are above them, mm -hmm. and they are just totally taking over. And they're supposed to be, you know, we're yeah. supposed to have sovereign rights, and they're taking them away. Mm -hmm. And so, this right to petition case is so important that. If the government, mm -hmm. so far as the judge has said, doesn't have to respond or listen to the people's needs, yeah. the great experiment is we know it is over. You know, because, I mean, if you don't have the right to get answers, then mm -hmm. what do we have? Yeah, because that's the fundamental issue of accountability there. Like when right. a Senate or a Congress holds a, a hearing and they bring, call in somebody from the bureaucracy or somebody from a corporation, corporate world to answer questions, that's it, a practical example of a person asking for questions because they have, the, it's presumed they have the authority to get answers right. uh, when, when they're holding these hearings. The same way the people who, from which these fundamental rights derive should get answers from the government mm -hmm. uh, and they better be consistent to with what the principles are uh, that founded this country right. and, and, and are embodied in the Declaration and in the Constitution or else uh, uh, somebody has to answer. You know, it, it, and it's, it's a fundamental uh, way to exercise uh, one's authority, and, and whereas elections are downstream of that. Right. You know, they, they, the elections almost presume everybody's doing everything right. That's that's exactly and, right. And we need something more than that. Yeah, and you're choosing between different flavors when actually, you know, uh, right now things are very wrong uh, mm -hmm. between Kelo and other uh, decisions. Right. Um, I just wanted uh, one other thing about uh, Kelo is that, as you said, you know, uh, people, the Joe Blow regular person on the street didn't even understand eminent domain. Uh, and some still don't understand it, uh, right. even after Kilo. Uh, but this right to petition suit needs to be popularized uh, to the point where people are talking about it the way they started talking about Kilo post right, Supreme Right, exactly. Court this decision. needs to be pre. So yeah. Um, and actually, maybe that's a good, a good time to mm -hmm. get into what we the people is going to be doing. Yes. Um, Starting January 28th, Bob Schultz is going to start traveling around the country every weekend. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, there's only 12 weekends between, well, there's 13, but one of them is Easter weekend. So, right. But essentially, there's 12 weekends between now and April 21st when we're going to hold our Give Me Liberty 2006 conference. Mm -hmm. um, and he's going to go around to each state, as, as or we're going to have regional conferences. Right. And he's going to talk about these very issues, the right to petition. Mm -hmm. um, the the Congress and the Foundation have re totally revamped their structure. Uh, right. The Congress has come under um, some some new organizational management, where mm -hmm. um, you know people are going to be going out and getting members, and they can be um, they might be able to even like create some wealth out of that, which Bob mm -hmm. has a hard time dealing with. But oh. he feels like you know liberty is just I don't know. People just don't want to fight for it anymore. We don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. When you give them a financial incentive, maybe. The, well, the that's exactly it. You know, and the thing is, is it needs to be done. It's pertinent. It, it, the time is right. You know, the people mm -hmm. are people want to know what to do. They just yeah. they we, they need to, they need a plan. And so, mm -hmm. if you visit the website uh, GiveMeLiberty.org, which is also under construction right. because everything's getting ready for the new year. Yeah, I understand it's um, going to be changing, expanding, breaking into two or three different yes, pieces. Yes, it is. It's going to be. It's end. It's really going to essentially be the foundation's going to have its own website, and mm -hmm. the Congress is going to have its own website. But you can still get to Excellent. it through GiveMeLiberty.org. Mm -hmm. um, and so on the website, you know, we have what's going to be going on. We also have the two new. Um, operation plans for the foundation of the Congress on right. there as well so that you can see what we're doing but essentially there's going to be a big push between now and April because mm -hmm. everybody needs I mean it needs to be flyered on the walls it needs to be in schools supermarkets right. I mean people know the phrase eminent domain now whether they understand it or not mm -hmm. they know what it is because it was a big deal yeah we want people to know the right to petition for a redress of grievance 
just right. as well as they know that, even if they mm -hmm. just understand the name, because it's got to get out there. Yeah. Um, and then the April conference that we're going to have, we're going to have some big speakers dealing mm -hmm. with, you know, the right to petition. But then the amazing thing, which is going to happen on that Monday, mm -hmm. immediately following, is there's going to be a two-week hunger fast. Okay. a large hunger fast with thousands of people hopefully if we can get them all to come right um and the deal is is that i mean this has never been done before it's yeah. historical i mean it's not it's just one guy here or, one, or a couple of people there but we're looking for hundreds possibly thousands depending on people yeah i wonder i mean i've heard somebody say two years ago when there there was a mass protest of the republican convention uh, that uh, the day of mass protests being influential is over. Mm -hmm. The only way you can really get make an impact is if you got thousands of people to do something the same exact way at yeah. the same time yeah. in a coordinated, like wear the same uniform or or go on a hunger strike. Right. And, and now we're seeing, uh, you know, uh, a organized uh, movement or, and uh, and a date certain right. in which to actually do this this right. very thing. Right. And the thing is, is uh, because a hunger fast is is different than a, just a, a protest in itself because mm -hmm. it leads to people wondering what is so important that you are willing to sacrifice food for two weeks. <laughs> you know, like what is? I mean, mm -hmm. it's shameful for the government. Yeah. I mean, it's shameful, really. If right. if 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 you're asking questions, I mean, we are we are mm -hmm. of common intelligence. You know, we're not mm -hmm. geniuses. We're we're working people. We're entrepreneurs. We're business yeah. people. We're mothers, fathers, sisters, daughters. I mean. We are just the people of this country mm -hmm. trying to protect what was endowed to us by our creators in which we're asking questions and the government's not responding. Yeah. And so it's not desperation, but it's mm -hmm. a cry to say, look, you know, yeah. we've had enough and look what you're doing. It's shameful, you know. All right. We have just enough time for you to repeat the um, contact information for We the People sure. uh, Foundation in Congress. Just give them the websites and information again. It's uh, givemeliberty.org. And it's going to be, there's going to be a hungering for redress hunger strike um, April 21st starting the conference following right after that it's going to be the redress so it's going to be amazing and we want a big a turnout as possible all right everybody burn that website <laughs> into your mind we the people excuse me uh, give, give me, me liberty, liberty org, org yeah. to find out about we the people and I hope you join us again next time for another exciting episode of Hardfire.